The world could end at any moment, and with these NASA discoveries, we could be able to predict what happens. Now first up we have an asteroid could destroy Earth. A newly discovered asteroid roughly the size of an Olympic swimming pool has had a small chance of colliding with Earth in 23 years, with a potential impact on Valentine's Day 2046, according to NASA's Planetary Defense Coordination Office. Speaking of Valentine's Day, as you can tell by my look, I'm filming this on Valentine's Day. So happy Valentine's Day to all you amazing people. We all love you here at Most Amazing Top 10. Now, back to the talk of an asteroid that could destroy us. Now, this asteroid has a 1 in 625 chance of striking Earth based on data projections from the European Space Agency, though NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory Center Tree System calculated the odds are now closer to 1 in 560. Now, I gotta be honest, I really don't like those odds. NASA officials have warned that the odds of impact could be dramatically altered as more observations are collected and additional analysis is performed. Often when new objects are first discovered, NASA Asteroid Watch noted, it takes several weeks of data to reduce the uncertainties and adequately predict the orbits years into the future. So by the time it is 2045, it could be directly in our path or vary from it, but I'm hoping that it's far away. Up next is the large planet. In September 2023, NASA discovered that a large planet is somehow orbiting a star that should have destroyed. It. Yeah, that does not sound good. Planet 8 Ursae Minoris B orbits a star some 530 light years away that it's in its path of destruction. Now, the star would have been expected to expand beyond the planet's orbit before receding to the present still giant size. In other words, the star would have engulfed and ripped apart any planets orbiting closely around it, yet the planet remains in a stable, nearly circular orbit, which is just Weird. The discovery of this seemingly impossible situation, relying on precise measurements using NASA's Transiting Exoplanet Survey Satellite TESS, shows that the planet formation and destruction are likely far more intricate and unpredictable than many scientists may have thought, and that that scares me. In the late 1960s, NASA faced a decision that could have destroyed many human lives and perhaps have ended the world. Following the Apollo 11 moon landings, the three astronauts were waiting to be picked up inside their capsule floating in the Pacific Ocean, but they were hot and uncomfortable. NASA officials decided to make things more pleasant for their three national heroes, and I mean they did just come from space and all, but the downside? There was a small possibility of unleashing deadly alien microbes on Earth. Now, A couple of decades beforehand, a group of scientists and military officials stood at a similar turning point. As they waited to watch the first atomic weapon test, they were aware of a potentially catastrophic outcome. There was a chance that their experiments might accidentally ignite the atmosphere and destroy all life on the planet. Now, Thankfully, there were no deadly microbes released, but could you imagine if there were? Moving on to the parallel universe. A group of NASA scientists working on an experiment in Antarctica detected evidence of a parallel universe where the rules of physics are opposite of our own. A cosmic ray detection experiment has found particles that could be from a parallel realm that was also born in the Big Bang. The experts used a giant balloon to carry NASA's Antarctic Impulsive Transient Antenna, or ANITA, high above Antarctica, where the frigid dry air provided the perfect environment with little little to no radio noise to distort its findings. Now, A constant wind of high energy particles constantly arrives on Earth from outer space, and that means the high energy particles can only be detected coming down from space, but the team's Anita detected heavier particles which came up out of the Earth. Now, The finding implies that these particles are actually traveling backward in time, suggesting evidence of a parallel universe. Is that at the moment of the Big Bang, 13.8 billion years ago, two universes were formed. Ours, and the one from our perspective that is running in reverse, with time going backward. Now, Parallel Universe Emily, if you're somehow watching this, hi! Now let's talk about nuclear annihilation. Okay, so this was a time the world could have ended, so that's 
nice. Before the first atomic weapons test in 1945, scientists at the Manhattan Project performed calculations that pointed to a chilling possibility. In one scenario, they plotted out the heat from the fission explosions would be so great that it could trigger runaway fusion. Now, in other words, the test might have accidentally set the atmosphere on fire and burn away the oceans, destroying most of the life on Earth. Subsequent studies suggested that it was most likely impossible, but right up until the day of the test, the scientists checked and rechecked their analysis. The day of the Trinity test finally came, and officials decided to go ahead. Now, when the flash was longer and brighter than expected, at least one member of the team watching it thought the worst had happened. Now, the strange thing is, none of the calculations were ever subjected to peer review of a disinterested party, and there was also no evidence that any elected representative was told about the risk, let alone any other governments. Now, the scientists and military leaders went ahead on their own, which is just plain old terrifying. Then there's another asteroid that could destroy Earth. An asteroid NASA's been tracking for nearly 25 years could impact Earth in the near future. Now, thankfully, we won't be around by then, but it still is a scary possibility. First discovered in 1999, Bennu, the near Earth asteroid, could possibly drift into the planet's orbit and could hit the planet by September 2182. Bennu passes near Earth every six years and has had three close encounters with Earth in 1999, 2005, and 2011. There is a 1 in 2700 or 0.037% chance that Bennu could hit Earth by 2182, scientists said. In October 2020, the Osiris Rex organization briefly touched the surface of Bennu, collecting a sample and then propelled off the asteroid. Now, it was the first mission of its kind for NASA. Now, if Bennu were to hit Earth, it would release 1,200 megatons of energy, which is 24 times the energy of most man made nuclear weapons. So, in other words, it would not be good if it hit us. Now we have the universe is expanding rapidly. The study of the universe's expansion rate has been a topic that has fascinated scientists and astronomers for a very long time. The Hubble Space Telescope has been providing a huge amount of data for the scientists to study, and NASA believes that something strange is happening in the universe, considering how fast it's expanding. According to NASA, the data provided by the Hubble Space Telescope shows that the rate of expansion has become much quicker in comparison than the expected rate. But NASA NASA was not able to provide a concrete reason behind the discrepancy and went on to call it something weird. Now, I'm gonna be honest, with NASA simply calling it something weird, that just doesn't make me feel any better. The Hubble telescope has been gathering data for the last 30 years, and it shows that although it was predicted that the rate of expansion will be 67.5 kilometers per second per mega per sec with a margin of error of 0.5, the current rate of expansion is somewhere around 73. On to a black hole swallows Earth. Now, I think everyone is a little scared of the idea of a black hole and the fact that they can pretty much suck up anything they want. And although we don't have a lot of information on black holes, in May 2022, astronomers revealed the first ever photograph of a black hole at the center of our galaxy. Now, it's incredibly unlikely Earth would fall into a black hole because at a distance, their gravitational pull is no more compelling than a star of the same mass. The only way Earth would be swallowed by a black hole would be if our planet happened to stray across a wandering black hole's event horizon. Now, even though it is unlikely, it's still possible, and that is scary. Up next, we have the new super Earth. A new super Earth has been discovered in a nearby solar system's habitable zone, according to NASA. The planet, designated as Toy 715b, is about one and a half times as wide as Earth and in a system that is only a measly 137 light years from Earth. Now, NASA explains this is fairly close. As for comparison, our Milky Way galaxy is approximately 100,000 light years across. Now, the planet orbits a red dwarf star, which is cooler and smaller than our sun. Because the star runs cool, this super Earth can orbit closer and still be within the solar system's habitable zone, which is the distance from the star that could give the planet the right temperature for liquid water to form on its surface and therefore sustain life. Another side effect of a closer orbit is that the planet passes in front of its star that much more often, making it easier to track and observe very easy, and in this case, a year on Toy 715b lasts 19 days. Now, could humans live on Toy 715b one day in the future? I guess we'll have to wait and see. 
And lastly, we have deadly solar flares. The sun frequently releases powerful bursts of energy and charged particles known as solar storms. These solar outbursts, when they reach our planet, create auroras but can also interfere with modern technology. On April 21st, 2023, a powerful solar event sent a fast moving burst of plasma towards Earth, causing a severe geomagnetic storm two days later. Now, this storm disrupted power, communication systems, and satellite functions. It also created brilliant auroras. Monitored by NOAA's Discover spacecraft, this was the third major storm of its kind in the current solar cycle, following similar events in 2021 and earlier in 2023. Now, if a solar flare were to hit Earth today, it would emit X-rays and ultraviolet light, which would reach Earth's atmosphere and interfere with electronics, as well as radio and satellite signal. It could also cause a solar radiation storm, which could potentially be deadly to astronauts not fully equipped with protective gear and unprotected by Earth's atmosphere. Now finally, a cloud of charged particles would bump against Earth's magnetic field. Such an event would mean outages that would decommission everything from cell phones and computers to automobiles and airplanes. Cities would lose power for weeks and potentially months, and many activities necessary to daily life would no longer be possible. The potential consequences of a large-scale solar flare hitting Earth have scientists scrambling to develop an early warning system, a new solar flare detection method, much like the people who came before them once learned to forecast deadly tornadoes and other weather events. Yeah, I definitely think they need to have systems in place to monitor these. Well, that's all for our list of the top 10 scary NASA discoveries that could end the world. Which one on our list freaks you out the most? Let us know in the comments down below, and don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel. I'm your host, Emily, and we'll see you next time. Peace.